so topic is hopman rearrangement in this rearrangement the amide r c o n h 2 converts to primary amine r n h 2 with the help of strong base sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and halogen like chlorine bromine etc now in this rearrangement the first step is is R C O N H two amides. This two hydrogen. If you see these two hydrogens, they are somewhat acidic because this is electron withdrawing group C O. So this N H two uh, can be the bond can be broken, and for that we have to use strong base. So the first step here. OH minus. Now this OH minus will abstract. Will take one H as a H plus, leaving negative charge on the nitrogen. So the structure will become RCO. Yan because one H is lost. Therefore, NH and electron is on the oxygen. The point is that OH strong base abstract one hydrogen. Of the either of these two, and use one as it is. Negative charges here on the nitrogen. There is a formation of product water, uh, OH and this H H two O. Next step is this formed anion react with the bromine Br two halogen. Or chlorine Cl2. Now, if you see this Br2 bromine, bromine negative charge. This is attacking on one bromine, forming this bond. And bromine valence is one, so this bond will be broken. Another bromine will have minus charge. So the structure will become R C double bond O N. B R this N B R and this N H as it is. Okay, now this is the structure as we saw in first case. N H two ox hydroxyl group abstract takes one of the hydrogen because somewhat acidic it is. Not very acidic. We cannot say acidic, but more polar. So OH can abstract one hydrogen. If you see this EH, the second H remaining H, this is now even more acidic because electron withdrawing group is attached. Nitrogen is highly highly electro positive and nitrogen bromine electronegative. So this is more acidic. Again, this OH will. Abstract will take this hydrogen, lose uh, this electron on this nitrogen. So structure will become R C O N electron on the nitrogen, carb nitrogen anion and bromine. Now this is the structure which is unstable. This will rearrange electron will be shared between this carbon and nitrogen. Carbon's valence is four, so this one bond should be broken. This R group will be broken, and it will attach on this nitrogen, and nitrogen valence is three. So here it, you see this electron shared. So two bond here, and this group is coming here with the electron. So third bond with this group. So it is needed to be broken. This bromine. Halogen as Br minus. This these steps are happening simultaneously, and we will get structure R. This R is attached to this nitrogen. Then this nitrogen is having two bond with carbon, and this carbon is ketonic. So yes, now this structure is known as isocyanate. The structure is isocyanate. 
then this structure is attacked by H2O water H2O means this HOH if you see this HOH this Stove will attach on this uh, OH as a H and OH. This attack on structure OH will attach to this carbon, then, and when it will attach this OH attack on this carbon the electron will be on the nitrogen negative this H will attach on the nitrogen so structure will become NHCO or this is carbonic acid acid and this carbonic acid is when it is heated unstable it is when it is heated it will lose CO2 and it will convert to R NH2 the CO2 is lost RNH2 so formation of primary amide from amide this is Hoffman rearrangement